Welcome to the Joe's community. Today we're going to show you two types of filters. First one is going to be a, a water bottle that we found if you're lucky enough to find one. First step is you're going to cut the top off. Again, see if you can find you a good water bottle with all the plastics being thrown out there left and right. You can grab one up and use it as a filter. So we cut the top off. And then you want to start with your layering process. Some people use a rock that fits right snug into the bottle cap. Some use a uh, cloth. As you see here, Colby's choosing to go with the cloth method first. So that's going to be his first layer that's closest to the uh, bottom, the end of the bottle. From here, he's going to put in some coarse sand. Again, some people go with charcoal crushed up. I personally go with charcoal crushed up. Colby decided to go with some very fine sand and that's if you can find sand while you're out there you know rock beds or rock uh, creek sources so you get a good amount of sand in there then if you got charcoal from a campfire as we do we just took it from our campfire from let it cool down and he's gonna put it here in a cloth and he's gonna smash it up into small pieces so we can put that into our filter here when you're building this it's all about layers trying to get the sediment and the gunk or gross stuff from the water to catch between the uh, top of the filter down through the bottom so as you build these layers hopefully the the bigger stuff will get caught in the in the top layer with the grass or big rocks and then go on through the sand and the charcoal and then another piece of cloth to catch all that stuff so now he's got some small very small pebbles you can find those around water sources or rocky areas and he's going to top it off by balling up some grass some, some grass we just found over there in the grass field and get it all put together and then that's what you get look like so you got about five good layers there now what he's doing is just making two little small holes so he can run a cord through and hang it from a tripod or a branch or whatever so you ain't got to sit there and hold the filter over your container that you're trying to get good water in so again get some holes here we're going to use some bank line and you can see we got it suspended over a tripod. And we got our catchment container there below it. And look how dirty that water is. You've probably seen it in the previous in the big old bucket there. We just got some water with some mud in it, some gunk. Now the first time or two that you put this in there, you know, a lot of that water is going to soak up all that stuff. It's, it, most of it's dry. And don't think the first time you put this through here that you're going to get clean water. It's going to, you're going to filter it, you know, a good four or five times. And I can't stress it enough. No matter how many times you pour it through that filter or a filter like this, see that's that's a lot of water coming out. You want it a little bit smaller of a drip. All right, there's a full cup, and that cup is not going to fill all the way back up in there. So you got to think about your catchment container too. Is it going to be big enough for what kind of water you're getting in there? Or as much water as you need in there. See, he had to pour a little bit out for this demonstration purpose. But, but if you got a lot of water or a water source next nearby that's just dirty and you got to filter it, um, you just got to keep filtering it. And I can't stress enough. I said it just a minute ago. But no matter what, if you got the means for fire, you still want to boil it. Filtering it is not going to get all the bad stuff out of it. In a pinch, I would filter it, filter it, filter it, filter it, and if I had no means for fire, 
and it's been a lot of days then I would consider drinking it but again fire is key you want to get the fire in boiling boiling is like 186 185 somewhere in there and then boiling point is 212 so you only need to get kill the pathogens at 185 or 186 something like that but good practice just to get it boiling now here's a here's a better view of it getting grip look how clean it's getting now now on our to our tripod. I already got one layer here. Right. So on our tripod, we're going to use three pieces of cloth, and you know as many pieces that you got, um, the better it is. We got three here, and you see how I got a rock going in the corner. I got a bowline on one end, and I'm gonna bring it through there to get that rock to hold that bandana in place. I might not do it on this one, but in the future corners that I tie, I put a little clove hitch on there just to really cinch it down. This is probably going to be more feasible if you're out there and you can't find a water bottle. But you're going to use this type of filter. And you'll see here in a little bit where we just use grass, some more sand, and some charcoal. takes a little bit to get tied up there and now when I'm attaching it to the pole uh, one knot that I like here is a uh, timber hitch that way I can slide it up and down and adjust it as needed so that all the cloth all three of them when the water's coming through it that it is going almost center of each cloth Again, we're just trying to catch all the gook and the big, big, bad parts of the water, particles and stuff that you don't want to drink or have in your system. Again, even using this kind of filter here, you got the means for fire, you want to boil your water. Boil. I can't stress that enough. Always boil your water no matter what. You get to that boiling point. You will know that you've already surpassed the temperature needed to kill most of the bad stuff that's in your water. And you see, so now, you know, most of your bandanas or your cloth, you're going to have four corners. If you haven't noticed yet I take two of the corners and I put them together so I'm really only tying off three ends to this uh, to the clock to the tripod itself here we are adjusting it try to get it in a good spot that we want it There. See how it's going to look when it's pouring down. Filled up some. All right, here we go. We got all three of them up. You see the first layer here? Got a tripod. Our first layer is nothing but that grass. A lot of grass. So we're going to pull the water. We have one layer with grass, another layer with cloth. Goes into the next layer here with fine sand and again cloth. Which goes into another layer of charcoal that we crushed up from our campfire and another piece of cloth so now when you pour it through this is what it's going to look like and of course you're going to want a container down at the bottom to, to catch it and then again you're going to have to filter and filter and filter to get it cleaned up some ain't nothing going to be perfect water straight out of the faucet other concerns that you're going to have is making sure that you don't cross contaminate meaning getting that dirty water into your clean water. And here we are just for fun, pouring a bucket through to see how, how it looks when you pour a bunch of water through it. Which I wouldn't do this right here. I'd rather try to not have so much water going through there. 
so it would take more chances of getting caught up in, in those cloths or those other layers of uh, sand and grass. So that's it. Thanks for watching Joe's. We got more to come. Join us today. Grab your gear. Let's go.